Do you prefer just being financially comfortable or being rich? Most people want to be filthy rich, but they often believe that it's not possible for them. The truth is, whether you become rich or not is in your hands. If you decide to be rich and think like rich people do, there's no reason why you can't make it happen. But there's no quick and easy way to get rich. To become wealthy, you need to learn about money and finances. Get comfortable with understanding financial statements, learn how to start and grow a business, and use your experience and money to make smart investments. The rich invest differently than the poor and middle class and this video will be your guide to investing and thinking like them. Perhaps you've heard of the 80 to 20 rule, suggesting 80% of success comes from 20% of effort. But for money, it's more like 90 to 10, just 10% 10 of people possess 90% of the wealth. The rule applies in many walks of life. Think about Hollywood stars, and then think how many actors are waiting tables between gigs. 10% of actors earn 90% of the money. The same goes for athletes, musicians, and of course, investors. Why is it that rich people can accumulate so much wealth? Well, one reason is that some investments are simply off limits if you're poor. In the United States, the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission restricts certain investments to accredited investors. This means people with a net worth of $1 million or a consistent annual income of $200,000. Anyone who is worth or makes less than that simply isn't allowed to get involved. While these rules aim to protect those with limited funds from risky investments, they also inadvertently block access to lucrative opportunities. But how can you break into the top 10%? Let's find out what it takes to think like the rich. Get an education, work hard, save money, then you'll be fine. Sound familiar? This is the typical middle-class approach to financial security. But this approach won't make you rich. It tends to keep you in the 90% with only 10% of the money. So, how do the wealthy approach financial success? They don't stick to one job until retirement. Instead, they invest in businesses. Employees have less money to invest due to the structure of the U.S. tax system. For instance, saving $1,000 from your salary requires earning around $1,300 because of taxes. Inflation diminishes your savings, and you also pay taxes on the interest you earn. In contrast, business owners invest from their pre-tax earnings, giving them more money to invest in wealth-generating assets. Unlike employees, they buy assets before paying taxes. This system may seem unfair, making it hard for employees to become rich as they give a significant portion of their income to the government first. Moreover, business ownership and investment involve less risk than relying solely on employment. In today's job market, the idea of a stable job for life is outdated and employees face the risk of job loss. Interestingly, when companies lay off employees, their share prices often rise, making the investor's side less risky than the employee's. Ever felt confused about terms like assets and liabilities or calculating financial ratios? Many avoid investing due to this unfamiliar language. To join the 10% who succeed financially, invest in your financial education. Rich people distinguish between assets and liabilities, a skill that leads to better financial decisions. For example, a home is often considered an asset, but it becomes one only if it generates positive cash flow. If your house is worth $200,000 with a $150,000 mortgage and expenses exceed income, it's a liability, not an asset. Understanding these concepts is crucial, but to engage in rich people's investments like real estate or business ventures requires a deep grasp of financial terminology. If you're unaware that a mortgaged house can be a liability, not an asset, it's easy to view rich people's investments as too risky. Financial education is a worthwhile investment possibly the best you'll ever make. When we think of investors, we often picture Wall Street bankers or energetic traders on a trading floor. However, the term investor applies to a variety of people, including bond traders and business founders. Investors fall into two categories, accredited and qualified. Accredited investors with high income or established wealth have broad investment choices, Qualified investors, equally wealthy but financially educated, can analyze business financials and market movements. Both types, though, remain on the outside, lacking control over their assets. In contrast, an inside investor builds her own assets by creating a business, whether in real estate or tech. This business becomes a valuable asset, generating income or being sold. 
To become a sophisticated investor, the Inside Investor uses her business building experience to analyze external companies. This savvy investor navigates tax and legal matters for maximum advantage. Now, let's explore how you can become an insider and access rich investment opportunities. It's time to get down to business. Many think starting a business is daunting, but just 120 years ago, the majority of Americans were small business owners. You can start a business without being wealthy like accredited or qualified investors, it just requires some creativity. Common concerns include time and money constraints. However, it's possible to start a business part-time. Notable business leaders like Michael Dell and Jeff Bezos started their ventures part-time and achieved immense success. Once you have a business, you gain options, reinvest cash, grow and sell the business, or take it public. These routes to wealth are unavailable to employees. We all have the potential to start a business, perhaps we just need some guidance. Now, let's explore key principles for making a business work. Did you know Bill Gates didn't invent the software that made him the world's richest man? He bought it from programmers and focused on building a great business, not just a product. That was the key to his success. To build a successful business, focus on three key things. First, define a spiritual mission for your business. Henry Ford's mission was to democratize the automobile, not just make money. Aligning your mission with financial goals keeps you on the right track. Second, build a strong team. Leaders recognize that investing in a skilled team pays off. Third, every team needs a leader. Leadership is a skill. It's not about being the best, but bringing out the best in others. Acquire leadership skills by volunteering, taking on responsibilities and learning from feedback. There is one more essential skill for business success. Let's take a look at it. Raising capital, negotiating, motivating your team and making sales and business. They're all vital for success and demand excellent communication skills. So how can you enhance your communication abilities? Investing time in a sales training program is a proven method. Joining one and sticking with it for at least five years can transform even shy ones into skilled salespeople. Mastering these qualities makes you a powerful communicator, not just in selling, but also in dealing with investors, negotiating, and motivating your team. For effective communication, consider the significance of physical appearance. Studies show that 55% of impact comes from body language, 35% from speech, and only 10% from words. Investing in communication skills and appearance, like improving financial literacy, is a worthwhile endeavor. You've started a successful business, and now it's time to elevate your financial gain. Becoming a sophisticated investor means taking more control over management, investment decisions, and taxes. A sophisticated investor separates ownership. For example, consider Bill and Jane who own a restaurant as a sole proprietorship, exposing themselves to risks and higher taxes. If Bill owns the restaurant and Jane owns the building, this would minimize risk, protect assets, and allow for tax advantages. For retirement, the average person may save in a 401k, hoping for an 8% return. The sophisticated investor diversifies, investing in real estate, stocks, and business ventures. With business building experience and financial education, they make good investment decisions, spotting opportunities and understanding risks. The average approach has you work for your money, while the sophisticated approach has your money work for you. Strive to be above average.